pot stocks are smoking. This is off the street.com. And investors are high on pot stocks. After reports that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo plans to make the Empire State the 21st state to allow use of medical marijuana, the passage of a new law in Illinois and a petition in Florida to legalize medical cannabis, a variety of marijuana-linked stocks have been on the rise. Colorado and Washington have recently passed laws making rec- excuse me, recreational use of marijuana legal. And then it goes on, talks about some of these stocks that have been doing well. I don't think Medbox did well today. It dropped down like $20. I could get into the ridiculous P.E. ratio of that. And by the way, when I'm talking about these stocks, please do your due diligence because with a lot of hot money going into these stocks, you need to do your own homework and diligence because you could lose a lot of money in these stocks. And that's why I advise caution and homework, a lot of homework. Shares of Green Pro Technologies or Green Grow Technologies, they skyrocketed today. It's like near 80 cents. It's ridiculous. It was like 55 cents in the morning. I remember seeing that. And then it went to, I think, a dollar twenty, and then it went down. But anyways, there are a bunch of stocks out there. There's like cannabis something. It, I forget what it's called. I could look into it later in this podcast. I'm actually going to show you some of these income statements of these stocks and me from the accounting standpoint I don't like them but from a speculative perspective you know what since there's so much hot money guess what it could defy logic and you could see higher stock prices for these once again I cannot guarantee the price of any of these stocks and always talk to your broker or do your homework on these stocks okay this is one of the stocks that is up few cents today it's like to 12 cents it's called cannabis sciencing and I can't find an income statement for the past six months but here's the most recent one that I could find online maybe I have to go to the website or SEC's website but I didn't check there but let's just look at my own thought process from an accounting perspective revenue is nothing I don't like that because if you don't have revenue, that means you're most likely going to have negative income unless there's some erroneous event. And I could get into that on a later day. Okay, Total uh, net income, minus 0.93. It's in the millions of dollars. So when you have negative income, what does that usually mean? And I could show you here. Here's the balance sheet. So what happens is whenever you have a negative income it hits the retained earnings right that would that's gonna basically go down long story short at the end of the year I could get into the depths of accounting 101 later on but if you have if you're losing equity then and you're not getting revenue where are you gonna get the cash from a you could borrow it through the bank and some people get money through additional paid in capital they could get it through external financing whatever once again I could explain that in a different topic or B what they could do is they could sell off their assets it looks like they don't have too much in assets these are the liquid assets the current assets and then the unliquid assets non-current assets you don't see any assets so how are they going to raise cash if the bank is not going to give them money it looks like they seem to have some external financing but if they did not where would they get the cash because you need cash and equivalents to pay your bills to pay your rent to pay all of these other expenses out there so what are you guys going to do or what is this firm going to do another option that they could have is they could offer stock right they offer more stock what happens then they dilute their shareholders so my concern for a lot of these penny stocks this is me being the accountant accountant is that they have no revenue could they potentially have revenue down the road and this is where these hedge funds may nail the trade down right they're probably investing a bunch of these diversifying their risks knowing that a few of these are going to be successful very very successful and because of that what's going to end up happening is some people are gonna make so much money out of this and I'm gonna show you what 
the breakdown of what concerns me based on an accounting perspective. I'm just going to break it down. Okay, by the way, always do your due diligence, talk to your broker in regards to financial advice, and getting into these stocks, in my opinion, is risky. There's something called risk and reward. And the more risk there is, the more potential reward, but then you could lose a lot of money. But that being said, let's look at the basic accounting equation you learn in college, and that is A, which stands for assets, L stands for liabilities, and you add that to SHE, which stands for shareholders' equity. So what I mentioned is I've noticed in a lot of these balance sheets and income statements that, especially their income statements, that there is a negative income. So if there's a negative income towards the end of the year, it's going to hit the equity. You're going to have a negative equity. And suppose that the banks aren't lending them too much money or they're not getting external financing to the extent that's going to cover their losses for the year. What's going to happen then? How are they going to find cash if they rarely have any cash or if they don't have any cash? What's going to happen here? How are you going to get the cash to pay your bills? Well, the way you do it here is you first of all have to issue more stock. You issue more stock. Guess what? you get more cash here on the asset side of the balance sheet see this equation relates to the balance sheet but in a way you could tie it into the income statement that's how general accounting works I know for those who don't have an accounting background who haven't taken a class may be confused and I could do some accounting videos on my other channel but putting that aside so from the accounting standpoint since it does not have revenues and it does not have assets to a great extent I think that there is eventually going to be a dilution period I don't know when that's gonna happen but if you have all these hedge funds coming in that plays a tricky role in all of this and let's just look at another stock like hemp Inc okay another penny stock and look at just the volume that picked up today alright you, you rarely see any volume and then you see a huge volume spike does that mean that the stocks gonna go down no it does not since you have this huge volume spike it went up today and even though the RSI is like over not 70 that that usually excuse me that usually is a red flag in my eyes putting that aside though if you have all this hot money the stocks could defy odds but from an accounting standpoint I see stocks I showed you before that did not have income I don't think hemp has that much income or it did not have top-line growth from what I saw I think it may have had a positive revenue but that was because of an erroneous accounting gimmick that made them have some revenue but put that aside I forgot which stock it was I could look at it later on but what I'm trying to say is if you have a lot of these stocks that don't have revenue, have all this speculative activity, have huge volume spikes, something does not feel right. I don't feel comfortable with all with moves going up so much so fast. Could it be like bitcoins where you see a speculative mania and then you see crackdowns on it and then you see a lot of people getting into it? Sure, right? This is really confusing, but I do believe that you may see individuals going into what people may call sin stocks. I mean, for instance, I was reading that John Paulson and a few other big hedge fund guys like Soros, they're going into the online gambling community or they're going to online gambling stocks, right? And then you have, I think his name is Sheldon Adelson. He's trying to throw a bill to protect his own industry. I think he has Las Vegas Sands if he's part of it or he's big in the casino so you're probably gonna see in my opinion or you may see a lot of activity in strange and unique sectors that no one else is thinking of right now because in my opinion I do believe that we are heading towards a stagflationary situation where you may see the market if it does go up not gonna go up much as last year and you may just see hot money since the Federal Reserve has printed up all this hot money or monopoly money it's gonna go somewhere 
I think part of it's going to go into the sin sector, as some of my friends have called it, like from Wall Street for Main Street. I know they talked about it with me one time. But anyways, guys, these are my thoughts on this. Once again, I need to specifically remind you, do your own homework. This is a dangerous sector getting into. Could people make or lose money, a lot of money? Sure. I always advocate researching and do what's best for your own risk tolerance purposes. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.